a, that convenience store that I've been working on. He had some more cases that he wanted hooked up. And I gave him a bid on it. And he said, oh, that's way too much. And he got somebody else to do it. And the guy did half the work that I was going to do on it. And he, he ended up putting 134A in the system, which is okay. Well, here's your oil safety switch, your oil protection. And he moved M down to L, and he bypassed the oil safety control. I don't know if he changed the oil, but the old oil was uh, petroleum-based oil, and you have to change that, because the old petroleum-based oil, the, what? It used to um, combine with the uh, chlorine and come back. It was miscible. And the chlorine literally would bring it back. Well, they eliminated the chlorine from the new refrigerants. So if you didn't change the oil to the new polyester oil, the oil is going to be sitting in the, down in the evaporator coils down in the case, and the compressor would have went dry, and it would have seized up. What I'm having a problem with right now is... is the contact is pulling in. And you can see this. The compressor is not running. And I have voltage to the compressor. I have voltage on all three. It's three phase. What that means is the voltage is coming to the compressor, but the motor's not working, so there's an open someplace. It may be a, the internal overload protector may be open, or the motor winding may be open. But this compressor's um, no good now. And it's, let's see, it's, uh, looks like a 2007. a model number here, I mean a serial number, it's an 07. So, we have a problem here. We need a new compressor. And that's not going to be cheap. Okay. Later, guys.